take two. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to people. Just, I'm two. Justin from KQS, and this is... And I'm putting my hands up to my face for emphasis. His lovely sister, Julie. No way. You're she just, smells. <laughs> well, I, I, I do smell a little bit today, but that's another story. <laughs> I'm not going to... I. I could blackmail you, but I will, I'll be nice. Oh, actually, yeah, you could blackmail me. Actually, this that whole statement would, would have been blackmail. You told so. me your secrets. Oh, <laughs> yes, I told you my secrets. She's smelly. Yep, I'm smelly, especially today. Well, I keep talking about that. I keep insulting myself. Sorry. Yes, this is, you make this so easy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but uh, this is our fourth episode of the KQS cast. Yeah. And and not only is it our fourth episode, we are live at Anime Bonsai! Woo! Woo! You have no idea how excited I am. I know. I I know that's like I, the second take and I still had the same enthusiasm. So. No, I'm all excited because like I thought, I thought we were just going to have a conference room. <laughs> but we have this gigantic room. I had to go rent a speaker and everything. And it's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Hopefully we can do this every year. That would that would be really great. That'd be awesome. Anime Bonsai, keep us in your eye. Keep us in your thoughts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> but um pretty much we're just generally a simple podcast. It's more off topic. We talk well, we don't really talk all about anime, but we I'd have say seen a lot the, of anime a lot, a lot lately. Yeah, and I think like the majority most of, the of movies our movies we watch. Yeah, majority of our our movies, like you said, most movies we watch have been anime, especially lately. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess shall we get started with everything? Yeah, let's get started. So we have two months to cover, so this is perfect for an hour and a half show. <laughs> yes. Get your popcorn and your comfy blanket and get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have done a lot of Ghibli Fest lately, and it's been pretty awesome. Six films. I think we've watched four. Well, we watch four right now. We, yeah, four we right now. We are on the, this month is Spirited Away, and next month is Howl's Moving Castle, which Yay! I see someone extremely excited about. <laughs> so I think I'm excited for a different reason. Christian Bale. <sighs> you get to hear the, the Batman <laughs> voice. <laughs> Especially, you get to hear him like emo. <sighs> I'm so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're, you're Birdman, you're ugly. <laughs> 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 but um, we, so she. August, we saw um, Castle, Castle in the, in the sky. sky. And that was pretty good. So good, I decided to dress up. I decided to cosplay. It was that good. <laughs> yeah. My fourth movie. It's my fourth favorite Ghibli movie. How's movie Castle is my fifth. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A staff coming to be- check on us, make sure we didn't burn the place down. Yeah. Well, I've... I've <laughs> I've done this a bunch, so I'm semi experienced. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got a lot of new equipment, which I love. <laughs> but Castle in the Sky was really good. Um, I guess what it's about some girl, some, well, some mis- what? Oh, go ahead. Well, she falls from a big, huge, like, blimp airship kind of thing. And my, my dude that I'm dressed up as is Pazu. He catches her and just cool hijinks, and she has a magic stone. Um, yeah, that she is from an ancient family, and this she's got like that magic stone, and like this the other guy who kidnapped her is from the same well the other branch of the ancient family, and there's like some special treasure, and so the bad guy. Yeah, is, there's there's army and there's pirates the pirates are really cool the pirates were awesome i really like them i think i probably want to if i was more focused i probably would have i would have cosplayed as the mama pirate oh i thought you were gonna dress up as the pink pirates just (laughs) (laughs) they were pretty cool it was it was pretty fun um mark hamill's the bad guy (laughs) yeah i think probably one of his earlier um 
voice acting roles probably. Yeah. And uh, um, Cloris Leachman, I'm trying to think of what she's, um, I think the only way how I described her to have you've seen uh, Longest Yard, she was the, <laughs> Adam Sandler got in his underpants in front of her. So <laughs> it's like the old lady who Adam Sandler got in his underpants with. <laughs> so, Ooh. And then, um, oh, um, Inigo Montoya was one of the, really? one of her sons. I did not know that. And so was Andy Dick. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was kind of cool. Like the mama pirate and her kids and her, her blundering sons. And it was it was pretty hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking through our notes. Yeah, there wasn't too much food porn. Miyazaki's no. always Mr. Food Porn. Especially, especially Spirited Away. <laughs> that one, like all the feasts, <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> I'm like half tempted to make like bingo cards and call it Miyazaki. Oh, <laughs> Miyazaki gosh. bingo. Okay. Nature. Nature. <laughs> Planes. Food. Yeah. Steampunk. Airships. Yeah. Steampunk. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of funny. Like Dudes little things. Dudes in suits. Dudes in suits. <laughs> Bad guys in suits. Yeah. I think, yeah, just like little things that I've been noticing more and more since we've been watching Ghibli Fest, which has been a lot of fun. I'm trying to think of some good. There's a lot of action in that in that movie. It's a lot of. There's guns, guns firing, and I don't know why I always like the whole um, what you might call it, like when stuff breaks, like they just start running like a, like a big cartoon. <laughs> oh yeah, like when like things That's start falling all... apart, and they kind of like try and like. It does that a lot? It's it. like they just yeah. try to recover, like ah, like like Spirit Away when um was it Chihiro was like trying to walk on that he, that those pipes and they yeah. broke and she just <laughs> ran like crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I think always beautiful as always. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially the, the actual castle in the sky part. Yeah, that that was really that was really beautiful. That was like a surprise. I mean like it was it wasn't what you were expecting. Yeah. But I mean if it's you know it's a Miyazaki movie, you do know what you're expecting. <laughs> nature. <laughs> so Yes, very much so nature. So yeah. But not that I'm complaining. So mm -hmm. but yeah, like as usual the scenery was just beautiful. And yeah, it was a really, it was a very good movie. I really enjoyed it a lot. Again, fourth, fourth Miyazaki movie. Um, shall we move to Nausicaa? Let's talk about Nausicaa. <laughs> la, 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 la. Wait, let me. Okay, go ahead. Now my mind's blank out. I'll <laughs> Fine, I'll just sing it. La, 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 but, you know, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, like, because you were saying, like, I hate to say it, but it was not, I, I liked it. Don't get me wrong. It was like, it was a really, it's still a really good movie. Miyazaki movies are amazing, but that is one's actually lower on my list, which is kind of sad. I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm, everyone really hypes it up to be a big masterpiece. They're always like, oh, it's Miyazaki's masterpiece. And it, it was okay. It wasn't the, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. Still pretty cool. I I liked all the, all the, all always Miyazaki has great imagery and like the death spores were pretty cool. It was pretty. It looked like snow falling yeah. from the sky. And the crystal, like the crystal clear water. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty, but it'll kill you. No. Actually, is she is she still a Disney princess? <laughs> I I think because isn't like because what was it. Disney has stake in Pixar, which also has stake in Ghibli films. So technically, Nausicaa is a Disney princess. <laughs> Suck <so>. it, Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she she's actually, well, she's a very good female character. She's all strong and flying and all that stuff. And she's she's pretty cool. She's actually, well, she's much smarter than normal princesses. Mostly princesses are like, help. But she just, she gets things done. Yeah, a lot of times she ends up saving the day and not the other way around, you know. But, mm. but you know, think about, like, Disney Princess, she does have a uh, forest creature with her. So that, that does, 
that kind of qualifies her too as a Disney princess. <laughs> she, so. has a, <laughs> she has her sidekick and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what what was the what what kind of species was the? It was like a fox. fox it, it was like a mix. Do you remember, like some kind of fox mix thing? Fox squirrel. Fox thingy. squirrel. That sounds right. It would bite her. Yeah, <laughs> but then she tamed it. She tamed it by being nice, just like ah. <laughs> should do that to Smokey. I should. <laughs> she like oh yes. well, that's like off really off topic. That's but fine. She likes to gum me sometimes, and so she was like, yesterday we were like playing around, and so she starts gumming me my arm. You know, she likes to get my my arm really deep in her mouth, but she's never really bit me before, so pretty well, interesting. Well, you've been lucky. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, I mean, you're nice to her. I bet if she'd probably, if she was a little girl, <laughs> then yeah. she'd probably be like, you'd have to wrestle her. Yeah. She's oh. a horse already. She is a horse, 90 <laughs> pounds, which actually is like less than your dog. Yeah, yeah. 137. 137. Cool. You can still suplex it, Jill. I, well, I could, <laughs> but I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> Give it the rock bottom <laughs> or the people's elbow. Yeah. Or whatever wrestling moves. The mush? No. <laughs> How would that work? I don't I have no idea. Probably I don't usually know. mush is like when you like hit him with the whip. Yeah, and make him go. <laughs> I don't know. Random name. hmm But see Nazika was really actually I'm trying to think what what are some really good scenes from that? Well, I like we were we were kind of talking about how this is probably one of the most violent Miyazaki movies we've ever seen. Yeah, she just murdered that dude. <laughs> yeah, after like she the the king died, she just stabbed a bunch of dudes in a fit of rage. Yeah, and then she was even bleeding too, which like you I don't you hardly ever see in those kind of movies. So that kind of really that really took me by surprise. Mm-hmm. But that that was a cool movie because I do like watching action women in action. <laughs> I'm going to yes. put that there because our Wonder podcast. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Pa- actually, Patrick Stewart was cool as the, was it the Blade Master guy? Or... Yeah. I think he was like her uncle or something. Yeah. Yeah. And he so. Sounds so young. He did. <laughs> Even though he looks like, he hasn't, he hasn't aged at all. <laughs> no. And it's like. It still I makes mean... me laugh in X-Men 3 when they try to CG his face. <laughs> Wow. Actually, you want to know what the funniest CG thing they've ever done? What? I think it was in Blade 3. Wesley Snipes refused to open his eye. There was an dele- uh, alternate ending. He refused to open his eyes because he was just mad at, I don't know, he was a jerk. But <laughs> they CG'd his eyes opening. <laughs> it was, it oh, looks so, my god! It looks so terrible. Oh. Someone let me know that, and I just... YouTubed it. I was like, oh my gosh, how did they? <laughs> that is so terrible. I mean, the movie's terrible as it is, but. I, I actually like Blade 3. I don't know, Ryan Reynolds without a shirt on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're all, we're all entitled to our own opinions, <laughs> even if they're wrong. <laughs> no. It was a note. Well, actually, now we're moving, now we're moving over to Blade. Oh yeah, we are now. We're talking about Blade. <laughs> but Nausicaa, it was really cool. I I always like those. I always like his airships. They're always cool, like the little glider that she had and flying oh, around. Yeah. That was always pretty fun. I I wish we had one of those. I wish those were possible. Maybe maybe she recovered it from the last great war that we all started. Yeah. <laughs> I do kind of like it how, like, it was, I thought it was interesting, though, like, how she would kick it off with her foot. She'd get it started with her foot, and then she would just, like, lay down and, like, move it that way. I, I thought that was pretty cool. I always just liked how she was just holding herself up constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, how her arms would She's look buff. without her? That's why she without... was never, that's why, like, she only had a dress at the end. She didn't want to show off how swole she is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, like we were talking, too, like how that one had like kind of a mixture of like Hollywood actors and voice actors. Yeah, that was actually a good mix. Usually a lot of times it's more, well, with those ones, I feel like it's a lot more, they focus more on the Hollywood actors. But, yeah, they they, actually, well, 
else did they have? Or, or some of the lesser named actors? They had Tess McNeil yeah, as, she's about as to the old everything. witch. <laughs> yeah. And then I, they had Jody Benson as as the um, mom of the. Really? Yeah, Jody Benson was Look the at this one stuff. guy's. Isn't it neat? Yes. Something about con- collections Bush is complete. <laughs> but Nausicaa, yeah. But yeah, that was the 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 guy from the other tribe and his sister that passed away. That was their mom. Huh. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Interesting. I'm trying to think of like what other voice actors that they had, you know, but um I just know uh Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Patrick Stewart for sure. So um, let's see. And now, yes, yeah, speaking of another Miyazaki movie oh. that doesn't get as much recognition as it should. Uh, Castle of Cagliostro. Yeah. That was like my favorite one. That was actually, well, that was the one that you bought a long time ago. Yeah, actually, that was like, like your first, first VHSs you ever bought. <laughs> So That's was, when we got hooked on anime. Yeah, that was like one of the animes. Like, well, when we found out what anime actually is, <laughs> that was one of the first <laughs> movies we started watching. And I don't even know, like, I don't remember, like, oh, like, I heard of this movie and it was really cool. It was like, back then it was like, eh, this looks cool. I'll try it out. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And it's... That's definitely one of my that's one of my favorite movies. I, I've I've noticed I'm like re listening to the podcast. I say that a lot. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Well, you've every, always said that. It was like this is your favorite. It's, that's <laughs> that's true. how you always do. Every time like I get something, it's like this is your favorite. No, I just like Mountain Dew. <laughs> 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 but um, that one's well. Let's see. Yeah, it's based on the Lupin the Third show. It was like old French films. Yeah, Frenchy Frenchy. Frenchy Frenchy. <laughs> but uh, it's it's pretty cool. Lupin the Third. He he kind of looks like a monkey, honestly. <laughs> yeah, and then it's interesting, like how he looks like a monkey, and the creator of Lupin the Third is call he calls himself Monkey Punch. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's a cool. It's a cool name for a studio. But um, it's 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 really good. It's really well paced. Like it, it like it has its little ups and downs. But it's not like one hundred percent. Like it's slow, but it. I mean, it's purposefully slow. It's not just like it, you don't just get bored with it. Like it has all these little ups and downs, and it's fun, especially the opening car chase. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was really cool. He made he made he made uh, Fiat's cool. That's like yes, maybe that's where they got the Italian job from. Because <laughs> 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 everybody in minis, but he's got a Fiat with yeah. like a big jet booster thing. This is before Nos and Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably Jigen's cannon probably helped propel him too. <laughs> that thing is huge. <laughs> but yeah, that was, yeah, that was our first and yeah, that's that was like the weeb, that was like my weeb face. <laughs> <laughs> like it's still, well, it still kind of happens. Any of those RPG games, anything you get to name a character, I always call him Lupin. And don't make don't make fun of me. <laughs> and mine was Fujiko. <laughs> like I like they would name over everything Fujiko. Mm-hmm. The Lupin's a cool guy. But Fujiko's cooler. Cause she'd always outsmart him. She's kind of a skank in the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> skank is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> well, I see clearly. I got glasses. I got twenty twenty vision. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, um, we saw the. Oh, there's different dubs, and we actually saw the the old dub, like the one of the original dubs, probably, probably from the 80s. It's called, yeah. The company is called Streamline. And and yeah, I I it, did a little research on them. Oh, go ahead. Like they were like um they this guy I guess he was interested in anime and he just wanted to buy the rights to all these animes and he. He didn't care how he dubbed it. I mean, like joking around, like joke dub, you know, like like Shin Chan. So uh-huh. he was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna dub it the way I want." So I kind of want to blame him for the sub versus dub debate. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, no, like, so so he just didn't care. Like he just he just, so didn't just care. one of those people, just like, hey, anime is popular. Buy this thing up, throw whatever you want on it. 
blah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But although, like, um, I guess uh, My Neighbor Totoro, like when it was first released, it was through Streamline. And a lot of people say that dub was probably one of the better dubs than the Miramax dub. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to find some of those. Because, like, yeah, Totoro's, yeah, Totoro's been dubbed three times. I think so. Because, yeah, Streamline, Miramax, and then... Because I don't think they... Cause I don't, I don't think the Miramax one. I think the Miramax one was. I mean, well, the Disney dub as well. Well, yeah, Disney Miramax. They kind of at that time it was kind of the same. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because Disney owned Miramax. Disney owns Miramax. I had no idea about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird. I like hear about something, and so I like research. <laughs> like yeah. I like read as much as I can on it. You Wikipedia everything. I do. <laughs> you Wikipedia all the things. All the things. <laughs> I should like stand with like a pink shirt and like uh, my arm <laughs> raised in the air. Like Wikipedia all the things. Actually, that's how I found out about Streamline, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, of course. <laughs> but if you ever get a chance, uh, they have a... It's called it's the manga entertainment. That's the one that we we've, we've always watched. And yeah. that one's a much better dub. There's I don't know, I kind of like the um, their band they they have a little bit more banter. They're like they're le they're less quiet cuz they're in the um, the normal streamlined one they're they're there's just moments of silence. <laughs> I I think I don't know if they try to follow the Japanese, but sometimes it's okay to put in a little you suck or some something. <laughs> it makes yeah. it better and that and the sound, the the sound of the manga one was a lot better. Like the streamline is like pew 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 pew. Like it had like this gigantic gun, like that big, the Jigen character, but like it just sounded so pew pew pew. <laughs> but in the manga one, they really, I think they just bought a sound library and just put everything. Everything just went up to eleven. <laughs> Yeah, and I think too, I like the the dialogue in the manga entertainment dub better than the streamline too. It's like, um, well, like when when uh, Lupin finally res rescues the princess, and you know he, he drops her by Jigen and Goemon, and and like Goemon's like, I love her. And the streamline <laughs> version, and then like in the manga the entertainment, manga one, he he called her lovely, and he he was all embarrassed, seeing some set, tough samurai guy all embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> which I think fit, fit more than like he, Goemon doesn't seem like the person who like falls in love right away very easily. Mm -hmm. Although there is a Lupin movie where Goemon's getting married. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, I have it somewhere. I'll have to let you borrow it. <laughs> so. Funimation one, huh? I think so. I think it was Funimation. Yeah, I I think I know what you're talking about, but I'll have to watch it again sometime. I, I don't know. I, I think those... Lupin the Third is cool, but I think I kind of like the, um, the manga. The Miyazaki one. Miyazaki did a good job. I feel like the other stuff that I watch is kind of like... Eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the other Lupin movies that aren't done by Miyazaki are meh. And that was his directorial debut. Yeah, which was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess he, I guess he did work on the Lupin the Third show, the yeah. the one they had on Cartoon Network. I didn't see. I saw the the one you showed me on Crunchyroll, the rolls that are crunchy. <laughs> the rolls that are crunchy. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw I saw that one. Uh huh. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't know that there was another one. Yeah, there's a there was a newer one. They they had it on it was on Adult Swim. The the animation looked a little rough, but it was it was fine. It was pretty it was not too bad. Kind of like I'd probably prefer the one that I showed you on Crunchyroll better. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but it was still fun. It had all the oh yeah, the all the hijinks with uh Lupin and Zanagata. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are the best. <laughs> Those are the best. They're pretty hilarious and So there's a um some crazy Interpol detective guy that chases Lupin the Third all around trying to get him, and they practically look the same. They have the same body type and everything. And um, in the movie, it was hilarious. There was a funny part where he dressed up like him, like um, the one, the real Zanagata was trying to get into the castle, and they these his palace guards blocked him off, and he just walked away. And then all of a sudden, the real the Lupin came in and was like, "Hey, is that me?" That was Lupin disguised as me. Get him around. And it was just. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Then, oh, go ahead. 
Oh, I was like going to say too, like like you pointed out when they were when Zenigata was on TV playing dumb. <laughs> It was like, because um, the Cogliostro, they had, uh, like, what they, they were counter, they were good at counterfeit money. And so, like, of yeah. course, Zenigata was more excited about um, exposing, although he could have caught Lupin, but he was more excited about catching the counterfeit ring. So he, he and Fujiko go down to where they had the counterfeit money presses, and he goes, Oh no, what is this? <laughs> Just like, that was pretty funny. And I love the part, because, like, um, well, he he was off the case. He was going rogue, and um, the inter Interpol everybody was watching the live feed, and the one guy like, uh, yeah, the part was just acting really terrible. He like grabbed a thing of money. He's like, these are yen. Could they be counterfeit? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the funny thing that made me laugh is just um, one of the director guys is like, oh lord, he's a bad actor. <laughs> 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 but no, that one's really great. There's tons of action. There's I love, oh gosh! I think one of my favorite parts is like it's it's so cartoony, but it's the um, the part where he jumps. <laughs> oh yeah, where he does parkour. <laughs> pretty much, there's a there's a part where he's trying to rescue this princess. Well, pretty much he will actually I guess setting up everything. So he robs a casino that has those counterfeit bills, and they find they they look for this treasure of, of the counterfeiting. And then they find a princess, and she's on the run, and she gets captured, and he wants to save the princess. And there's a funny part where he's in the tower. Like he's uh, this huge tower, and he, he wants to use this, like, little, like, tiny little rocket to shoot a, to shoot a, like, a, a line. But instead... <laughs> He rolls down the hill or he rolls down the roof and just jumps like hundred feet. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, just like gracefully glides. It's just like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Just one foot jump. You know? <laughs> yeah. Any stuff we got in the notes? And well, let's see, what do we not? Oh yeah. Okay. So I um I made the hubs watch it. Oh yes, because um, like he's he's been open to watching anime, so I'm taking advantage of mm-hmm. that. <laughs> so I made him watch it. And he actually liked it. So if you you know people, if you're not into anime, you you would definitely enjoy it. He, said, he thought it was good. Miyazaki movies are the best ones to watch, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> they are the like once you get well, like I always tease, falling into the anime pit. <laughs> Because, yeah, once you fall in, it's kind of like you discover all these, I mean, stuff you think are weird, but you eventually learn to enjoy it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I show a lot of people, like, if I were to show normal people anime, they'd be like, what is this stuff? Why Why are they doing this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, why, this are, is why, why is this brother and sister so, quote, unquote, close? <laughs> Ooh. Barf. Get good. <laughs> My westernized thinking. <laughs> well, this this comes from the person who watches harem animes all the time, so it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I guess I watch Slice of Life. That's like the ones I watch. Mm-hmm. Or like horror. <laughs> so, like two totally opposite sides. Vampire Hunter D. Vampire Hunter D, which That's we'll talk about one. later. But uh, Castle Cagliostro is my number one favorite Miyazaki movie ever. Like, it it used to be Princess Mononoke, but it got watching it again in movie theaters. Like, that's the fun thing I love about it is, like, watching it again in movie theaters. It's, like, it's, almost, it's almost like watching it again. Like, well, like we saw Princess Bride, like, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. We saw that again. And, then and that was, is a perfect movie. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like watching it in theaters really helps you appreciate the movie itself. And, and we and, actually had good people. Oh, we did. Like, yeah. Oh, one thing I think I hate about watching movies sometimes is, like, you get people. That's why I like, that's why I like to sit in the front, because I don't like people kicking my seats. That is, like, the biggest thing I hate the most. I'm just like, stop kicking my seat. <laughs> just <try> to... <laughs> but um it's a great movie if you ever have the ability to do it go go watch it it's great yeah and it, it's on youtube <laughs> oh yeah you missed the um, 
Oh yeah, I forget you missed the featurette of the Castle of Cagliostro. Oh, they had a, a Pixar guy. I don't remember what his name was, but he. That's how he got. That's how he won his wife over by showing her that movie, Castle of Cagliostro. And oh wow! He had the coolest like shirt, like little button-up shirt, but it had like um, it had different uh, Pixar characters. It had like Mike Wazowski and like Woody and like just like little, almost like little chibi characters, just all oh. around. I don't know. That just caught my eye. <laughs> Like, because I've heard, like, I mean, like, that movie Castle Cogliostro is really influenced or, you know, appreciated by a lot of um, Hollywood people. Like, Steven Spielberg, that's, like, one of his favorite movies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think that was on the back of the VHS tape. So that's why I was like, ooh. But, uh, great movie. If you ever get a chance. Actually, you could probably find it. I think you could find it for, like, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. They, or... just re- they just recently re-released it on Blu-ray. So get it or, now. Or pirate it on YouTube. No, don't pirate it. <laughs> okay, well, don't pirate it, but <laughs> talking, if you want to check it out. trying to get people to watch stuff on Crunchyroll. And... True. Actually, yeah, mostly mostly for the rules that are crunchy or buying on, on Blu-ray, but but I know, but yeah, if you want to really watch it, that's a that. I, that's how I found it because I couldn't find my my Blu-ray, so I made the hubs and I watched it on. Uh, I know I gave it YouTube. to you. <laughs> I know. I'm like space case. That's fine. All right, let us move on to the next thing, which is no game, no life, zero, aka my love life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just yeah. like to say that. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying that was, like, one of those, like, random, like, hey, you want to watch it? Sure. Yeah, like our I, friend. I had no idea what it was about. Yeah, I, I've only watched four episodes, and this is a prequel of it, so I need to re- I need to rewatch it now. <laughs> I need to watch the No Game, No Life now because I'll actually get, so I can actually get some of the stuff in Zero. But it was pretty cool. Um, a, lot, a lot of mechs and magic and. Yeah, no, I, I really liked it a lot, too. I mean, I, I'm actually kind of glad that I watched the prequel because then I'm like, I, I kind of, it was it was good for me because then I'd be like, I have no idea what's going on, which which kind of happened with uh, Irregular Magic High School, but it was still good to watch. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of some stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at the notes. Let's see. Oh, yeah, support your anime and movie theaters because, yeah, Crunchyroll has been having tons of stuff lately. And, like, it. I wish we had this stuff like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like it still breaks my heart when uh, the Cowboy Bebop movie came out. And uh, over over at the Century 16 in Salt Lake, they had the movie poster. <laughs> and so we, th- we, we were all hyped up to go see Cowboy Bebop. And then like, nope, it's going direct to DVD. Lit. Oh, well. But still got it. Still enjoyed it. But. Like, there's been so much Funimation. I think they did Psychopaths, Your Name, of course. Yes, Your Name. Yay. I'm going to hate the J.J. J. Abrams. Oh, I'm going to hate that <laughs> live action adaptation. This would be light lens flares for days. But, um, yeah, it was, a, it, was a good, it was a good movie. It was, uh I'm trying to think. The relationship between the robot girl and the the guy was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. I think like it was kind of funny because like how she was, she well she wanted to learn about he- love. Wasn't that her whole thing? She wanted to learn about humanity and love. Yeah, humanity, hearts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's one and- of those being a robot. I don't understand you, and like, yeah, she was this like little tiny look probably little tiny little girl. Getting physical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Talking about that stuff. I know, especially in front of my sister. I know. It's so gross. No. <laughs> yes. Like, but, but yeah, and then like, I thought it was interesting because like, she's like, okay, I want to learn. Like, what do you like? Okay, like, oh, I'll act like this. Oh, no, you don't like that? Then I'll act like this. And yeah. And it was just really funny. Trying to, trying to, actually, well, Trying to meet to his desires, wink or <clears throat> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But no, it was pretty, and he was always trying to beat her at, uh, was it chess or? Yeah, it was a chess. It was chess. They're were, they're were constantly playing chess. Yeah, like, and it. I mean, I know I hate to say it when you're going against like a supercomputer or even a computer, you're never really truly gonna win. But it's kind of she was always trying to understand why. Why do you keep doing this? I'm always gonna beat you no matter what. It's like it's my hearts, my desires. I gotta keep going no matter what. It was. It was pretty dark because, like, um, I, I guess the the no game, no life, the actual anime, a little bit more colorful. There's actually a palace and a castle and kind of things like that. But with uh, the no game, no life, zero, psh, it was it was just desolate. Every humanity was on its last leg and fighting dwarves and Lord of the Rings stuff. <laughs> yeah which actually is kind of cool because like how like they you know the different races i think there's giants was there giants i think yeah, i think there's i know there was dwarves and dwarves there were and elves, elves at least at least and then i think there were like two other different kind of like magical races and then humans yeah we, we suck <laughs> yeah and then even like angels and demons which were i think there were more angels or uh-huh. were they more demons I think there were more demons, but then, yeah. then, then you had the the mech the mecha race kind of thing, and they were like a hive mind. Yeah, and actually, they, what that was the girl robot. That's what she was. Well, she yeah, she was, but she got banished, so she kind of got she was her own thing, and it was it was pretty interesting. But yeah, the it was it was really cool watching everything go together, and yeah, she, like um, fight scenes were pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, fight scenes were way awesome. It was like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. I guess well, it probably was. You know, you haven't Ball. watched enough Dragon Ball. Z. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> I um, until they like super condense it down, then I'll maybe watch it. Oh, well, there's Kai. <laughs> I should you, watch Kai. You need Dragon Ball Z Kai Kai <laughs> 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 Kai Zero Alpha Nine. I don't know. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> but no i think i eh, you'd probably enjoy kai like i i enjoy all the dumb filler stuff like i i'm still watching it now there's like a hundred you would hate it now I'm i super. i would i would hate it so but... there's a big tournament of power and it's supposed to be 45 minutes long and it's gone for like at least seven episodes seven or eight episodes now and they're halfway through now <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of like there's 20 minutes left and that's what drives How? me <laughs> That's what drives me nuts. Nut, nuts, because we were watching the Majin Buu saga. Oh, no, I, or she'd be the Frieza saga. No, I, he, I've never seen Frieza. I okay. only saw Majin Buu. But she always make that reference. The planet Namek will blow up in five minutes. Well, no, that's what it feels like. Planet, like, the, okay, we're, we're the, because I think there was, like, a Majin Buu, like, episode where they were going to blow up, blow up the Earth. And, like, okay, countdown, 30 seconds. Five episodes later, five. <laughs> okay, now we're we're pausing there, and then Goku and Piccolo have to go get their driver's license. Well, that was Cell. <laughs> that was Cell. Uh, but, that was the Cell saga. <laughs> but that's what it just feels like. That's well, fun though. Well, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm enjoying Dragon Ball Super, even though Goku's an idiot. But <laughs> <laughs> you would probably hate it, kids. <laughs> you would probably get so bad because Goku is so dumb. Though he's got a new form and it's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> yeah, you need you need to go out, you need to watch it so you can watch Future Trunks. That actually that one's actually pretty cool. I think you'd like that one a lot. Even though he has blue hair, not purple anymore, which is weird. I don't know why. It doesn't even explain it. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I know we like totally went off on a Dragon Ball tangent. It's so. fine. Like we have. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a little. We have some time, but. Um, it was a pretty good, I guess, finishing statements of that. <laughs> I know we'll, we'll just move along, but, uh, no game, no life zero is, it was pretty good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. I'd definitely didn't be know, watching that series for sure. I didn't know what to expect, but I kind of like it like that. I, I like being surprised. <laughs> That's kind yeah. of the thing I enjoy about it. 
So I know we're gonna t- we're like in our notes we're talking about bonsai experience, but because this is my first bonsai, but you're only gonna be here for this podcast. I know, <laughs> which well, I'll I'll tell a backstory. I've known about bonsai forever, and mm-hmm. it seems like every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go this year. Then Dad's funeral. <laughs> then I'm gonna mm-hmm. go this year. I got married. <laughs> then I'm that gonna sucks. go this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is my anniversary. And so it's like every time I like want to go to bonsai something big comes up and now this time like i had a family emergency mm-hmm. and i'm like and i'm like okay i'm gonna go i got my three-day pass <laughs> i'm so excited it's gonna be awesome and then family emergency did we get it at the uh, asian festival yeah we got it back at the asian, asian well, festival like, back in july yeah <laughs> so yeah so i've had this you know pre-registered three months and but i was but um, still excited to be here. I kind of am bummed out. I can't really like check everything out like I'd like to. I do have an awesome T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. It says, "You had me at anime, and you have no idea how true this <laughs> is." <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like every time, like I dated somebody or something, I'd like, "Okay, what do you think about anime?" And all the time that they <laughs> did like anime, and. I was like, I guess it's all right. I don't know. And <laughs> just like, at one time I was really drunk at a party and there was this guy that was really cute. <laughs> so I was talking to him and I'm like, so do you like anime? <laughs> so I was like, and unfortunately the hubs does not, he's, he's not initially into anime, but he's been watching it with me. So that's, that's been, that's been fun. I'm at least he'll watch it with me. So I, I don't have another, I'm not, Ultimate weeb and married to otaku, <laughs> but my husband's open to it. <laughs> so, no, that's good. I, that's good. Yeah. My pro tip is don't do that. Don't don't start off with anime. That's <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst thing you could do. They look at you weird, like oh, you're one of those people. And it's kind of yeah, but <laughs> gotta ease it in. E- ease it. <laughs> do it. Go slow. <laughs> <laughs> like wait wait a few months before you spring the anime question on them <laughs> especially like don't invite them to sh- don't don't show them your body pillow immediately <laughs> that is the be- that is the worst way to scare someone off i showed todd my a la carte body pillow and he stuck <laughs> around no, just, i wish i had an a la carte body pillow <laughs> it's good for your knees though <laughs> Like I, I'm a side sleeper, so that, that helps my knees. <laughs> I yeah, I'm not going there. Yeah, I said I, I'm. The more I talk about that, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, hopefully next year I'll be able to um, come to bonsai. You and, better be and able to go all three days. All three days and. Do all the panels and or the open ceremonies? Open ceremonies uh, across across the hall from us right now. They're doing AMVs. So yeah, <laughs> like, they got AMVs. The, there's the viewing room. I think that's like my favorite part because I love I love going to the viewing room because that that's where I watch a lot of them. Like I have like I think they only show well. I think this time they've only shown one or two episodes, but usually they show like three or four. So it's like I don't know. To me, three or four is like that sweet spot when you know. An anime is good and you want to continue forward. <laughs> so, like, a lot of them I've watched are pretty solid. So, I have eventually found them and bought them on Blu ray and I enjoy them. <laughs> but Bonsai is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. that's actually that's a bummer. You can't check out the vendors. They actually had some cool I stuff, know. too. That's like another thing. Well, actually, it's a, probably a good thing because then I'd be like super broke. <laughs> so. Yeah, mo- most of us. Most of it's kind of more plushies and stuff like that. Like me, I love Pokemon, so I just like I saw this Pokemon stuff. I I didn't get anything this time. I might maybe tomorrow. I'll see if they're open tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure. Their um their hours are. are I feel like they did it a little bit weird this year because you're kind of waiting outside. You're waiting outside a lot. <laughs> actually, especially like because it, actually it's mostly on the outside of it, isn't it? I think so. I was like, I just felt like it was a little weird this year, especially being outside and it's cold. It's cold. It's really cold this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, I've only been here for a little bit and I'm cold. So. Oh, man. I thought I was like going to get, because I'm recovering from a cold and I thought I was going to get, I thought I was going to make it worse, <laughs> which I was, that was, oh, that's the bad thing about cosplay. <laughs> 
is like, oh, most of the stuff like don't have coats or jacket. Like even if they do have jackets, they're like so thin. Oh, <laughs> it sucks. But that is the that is the fun of cosplay. You, well, you dress. You, you well, some people take their shirts off. I don't. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> I've seen a few people running around with their shirts off. I'm like, how do you do it? How are you not like? You are the spread of con flu, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I blame con cred on you. But anime bonsai is my favorite uh, convention. It's it's the perfect amount of chill, and it's like the perfect. I mean, it's just fun. I enjoy all the different stuff. Come well, ugh. my wallet is saved this time <laughs> compared to Comic Con, which is just money, 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 money. Well, I too, I noticed like anime bonsai is more of a community, which mm-hmm. is really cool. Actually, yeah, because that's how I met Kenzie, because mm-hmm. we met her at anime bonsai activity. That's the thing I love too is like they do so many little things going on, like over the caffeineo and stuff like that, and I, I love it. But uh, anime bonsai number one. <laughs> So, so let's talk about shitty stuff now. Oh gosh! <laughs> now this is some great stuff. Uh, so uh, hope you got your uh, waiters, <laughs> just because we're gonna get through some shit. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> oh, I love this, but um, oh man. So on Netflix, there's this terrible show. It's called Neo Yokio. Jane Smith anime <laughs> i don't know how like it just this is one of the weirdest things it's like it's so dumb he's he's typical anime guy with pink hair like it, it's tor- it's hair it's terrible <laughs> it's and like he, he's it's essentially a fan fiction like hey i'm rich everyone loves me i got a robot butler who's jude law jude law is the voice of a robot butler that looks like Megatron from the 1980s <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Actually, how far did you get? Um, Jeez, I only was able to get to a couple episodes. Oh. But still, I don't, I don't, I'm, I was kind of like, what the hell? <laughs> it's just like, it's, it, it definitely, I think that's a perfect way to describe it. If Jaden Smith, <laughs> this is Jaden Smith fan fiction, is like, you know, he's this, He's this dapper man about town, but he's also a demon hunter. And he lives in like Neo Yokio, which is like New York. New York Tok it's yeah. Like, and it's like Brooklyn Prefecture and just yeah. oh it's, it's bad. He it's bad. Talks about all his designer brands and all this crazy stuff. Oh, and, oh, oh, he, oh, oh, and he doesn't pick a suit by sight, he picks it by feel. Yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> 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 like it's kind of like it's like a fan fiction if, like, Jaden Smith, if people like Jaden Smith. That is his fan fiction, if everyone liked him. But um, it's, oh, and that and everybody in the Toblerones. Toblerone. <laughs> yeah, you can buy a giant, you can literally buy a giant Toblerone. It's 180 bucks, <laughs> but you could buy this gigantic candy. It's like, it's like those stupid gummy bears, those three-pound gummy bears that will give you diabetes. <laughs> And oh man, it's yeah. Like he he's an exorcist. He's an exorcist, and he plays field hockey, and he races cars, and it's oh, they even um, they ripped off a Ron, they ripped off Ron Mahaff. <laughs> oh, they did. So someone falls in water and turns into a panda. <laughs> yeah, someone fell. Someone so um yeah, someone fell in like one of his relatives. He's like a. Every, well, everybody knows, everybody in his family knows magic, but he has water magic, and he fell into a pool that uh, turned one person into a girl and then turned the other person into a panda, which is essentially Ron Mahaff, if you've ever heard of it. Like, uh, Ron Mahaff is like you fall in hot, it was hot water? It was like, a, it was a magical spring, yeah. so Ron Ma fell in, and he, like, turned into a girl, mm-hmm. but he changed back. It's like, whenever he it, got wet or something. It was, or, I, think it was hot, I think it was hot, hot water, water, and then cold water yeah. changed it back. Yeah, hot water was a hot chick, cold water was uh, d- was himself, Yeah, and, and then his dad his fell dad into fell. the same magic pond, and so he was a panda. turned into a panda. 
But I noticed it too, like speaking of that, because like when they went to that ball, that his friends got the masks and they were basically tuxedo masks. Yeah, they were essentially, it, it, were just, it just rips off a lot of anime terribly. Terribly. Oh, and he's a, he's a horrible actor. He's, he's terrible. <laughs> like there's a funny part. Where they were like driving in a race car thing, and he he need, he didn't he didn't want to hit he didn't need his car didn't his big race car didn't want to get it hit, and his right his anime right he has an anime rival. <laughs> it's so terrible, but he's like, "Hey, I do it for a homie. Are we homies?" He's like, "Yes, I'm your homie." Like he, he just his voice cracks, and it's terrible. That and like I'm amazed that it has so many um, good actors. Yeah, because it has you law. <laughs> It has uh, Susan Sarandon, who plays his great aunt, uh, or his aunt. But um, and, and then uh, if you watch IT Crowd, the guy who plays Maurice Moss, yeah, he's he's a uh, he's, he's just random characters. He's random British man. Yeah, <laughs> he runs the suit shop. He runs the suit shop. He he was like a sports announcer. He was a lot. Of, he was a lot of things, and it just. Oh, yeah, and Jaden Smith's an asshole because, like, even if he knows you for, like, years, he'll call you by your profession. <laughs> hey, Mr. Suit Guy, <laughs> I'm ready. I've known you for, like, my half my life. <laughs> it was just bad. Um, but, yeah, giant Toblerones. <laughs> Four of the six episodes mentioned Toblerone, which is... <laughs> I Which I wonder if it was sponsored by Toblerone. <laughs> Maybe he just likes Toblerone. <laughs> I said it's all about him. Yeah, uh, and like we kind of have a theory on how he got this this show because I mean it's like who who greenlit that you know because it's produ- horrible. I think it was Production IG, the company that did Ghost in the Shell, the standalone complex. They did <laughs> Neo Yokio. I mean. Oh, and the animation's terrible. It looks like it looks like those Barnes and Noble how to draw anime <laughs> books. Like it's bad. But um, oh yeah, it all yeah, goes through theory. Yeah, our theory because that, and then uh, we have could they theory that because uh, Will Smith has a series coming out. So I wonder. We wonder if Jaden Smith went to Will Smith and said, "Hey, Dad, I want an anime. Make it happen." And then, so, and then <laughs> he went up to Netflix and like, "Hello, I'm the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Give my son an anime, <laughs> and I'll do a show for you." <laughs> so. Like, how many episodes? Eh, it doesn't have to be that much. More than Castlevania, though. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a really good one. Yeah, that's a fantastic one but it was terrible i eh, i guess it's kind of like the room it was terrible but i said i don't know every every time i think of a giant toblerone it makes me laugh <laughs> it just yeah. makes me giggle because like there's an episode where he visits somebody in the hospital and he is going to give him a giant toblerone and and uh, then he changes his mind. I told Justin because that the hubs was in the hospital for a little bit, and I said I was going to give the hubs a, a Toblerone, but now I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> so, he's, he's like, you don't deserve this. You don't Toblerone. deserve this Toblerone. <laughs> and I guess so. that's a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's terrible. Don't watch it. No, don't watch it. Okay. Shall we move on to the Death Note? Yeah. Did you actually watch the? Did you get a chance I, I, to watch the movie? I didn't get a chance to watch the movie, so I'll let you. I'll let you talk about it. Okay. Death Note movie is pretty bad. <laughs> it is, um, light. It was a light Turner, or whatever. I mean, of course, it can't be light Yagami, but light Turner. Who? He's dumb as rocks. <laughs> he is so dumb, and all the stuff he does is just like. Like he never covers his tracks. Like it, um, L instantly finds out who he is. Like ha- the thing is, halfway into the movie, <laughs> the guy who played L wasn't too bad. Like he had his, he, I thought it was okay. He had his quirks down. And I, but I kind of, I mean, he's not the weird creep, the weird creepy guy that just like, it looks like, <laughs> was it Smeagol from Lord of the Rings, master? <laughs> He's some creepy gremlin who like just super pale skin, but that and like um the Misa or well Mia or whatever her name was, she was terrible. <laughs> like it it was just it was the exact opposite. It was just they'd have murder boner they'd have murder boners essentially. Oh they'd my all, gosh. They'd all make out 
they'd make out and write in the death note. Like he he instantly revealed her that he was cured. Oh, like it was it was it was a complete different thing. It was just kind of like and it was just let's make out while we go while we write people's names in the death note. And the death note had a different rule. It was like wasn't it eight minutes? the The usual rule is eight minutes with the death note. You die from a heart attack. But on this one, it was like 30 seconds. or so. It was fast. <laughs> so, like, you couldn't erase it? <laughs> just... and could, I don't you, think you probably could couldn't erase you burn, it. Couldn't you just burn it no matter what? Or was it only one time? Or Okay. But, yeah. So, yeah, that, that one, they, I guess they played straight. But Ryu, um, William Defoe's Ryuk is pretty cool. <laughs> I think William Defoe looks like Ryuk. <laughs> well, he definitely does. He doesn't even have to, he doesn't even have to do anything for Halloween. Just <laughs> <laughs> just spike his hair, draw some dark circles around his eyes. <laughs> but yeah, it, oh, it's terrible. Like I don't know. The thing I liked about the, I think my favorite thing about the whole Death Note thing is just his crazy elaborate plans and everything. Like. This one is his his original. Like the only time it kind of semi came out was near the end, when he had to he had to plan his uh, his escape, and he just wrote all this crazy stuff, and that kind of felt like it. But most of the times he was just a big dumb idiot, <laughs> and every time L would be like, "Your boy, your son is very smart." It's like, "No, he's not." <laughs> <laughs> but um. And I don't know if it kind of ends on a cliffhanger. I don't know how. I mean, because because it will in the um, in the in the uh, in the series. Spoiler: If anyone listening, plugging my ears, your no. <laughs> But no, he well, he does eventually die. I mean, it, that's that's how it goes. You 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 do this for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> it'll catch up to you. And th- this one, it just felt like a felt like just a school year it did like um death note happened over a period of years but this one was just hey let's go to the homecoming dance yeah high school stuff (laughs) and it just oh it was it's bad um recommendation just watch the anime (laughs) like seriously it both are on netflix (laughs) you can watch them (laughs) you can watch a much better one it is it's really cool Took me a long time to watch Death Note because I, I don't know. I try not to get into the hype, but that one is actually worthy of the hype. That one's a great masterpiece. Shall we move on to some stuff? Oh yes. <laughs> Shall we talk about the funness of uh, your name, the live action? <laughs> yes. Yeah, speaking of Hollywood adaptations, that's that's kind of that's. I have mixed feelings about it. I, I shouldn't, but I, I'm kind of, the only reason I'm optimistic about it is because J.J. Abrams is going to produce it. Like, he did okay with Star Wars and Star Trek, I, I, but I still, it's it's just too. It's too early. It's it's way too early. It just and, happened last year. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, excuse me. <laughs> But no, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be very good. I just like, I don't know. My my thing is, like, hire people on their strength. Like, work to their strengths. Don't just don't just throw it at somebody. Even if they're right. good, they could be the best director or best whatever in the world. But if you don't get it, you don't get it. That's just how it works. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it, it's like I mean, any artist. You hire any artist, whether whether doing stuff for my art or tattoo artists. I know. I've, I've actually learned that a lot since I've been starting getting tattoos. Just, you know, get help like get an work, artist. Work to their strengths. Work to their strengths. Don't make a dude who does skull tattoos make flowers Flower. for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. <laughs> so, mess although it the up. flowers still came out nice. <laughs> just, no, I think but, it's fine, but it just. No, but it's true. It's just work to your strengths. It's, oh. Again, lens flares for days. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not comets, they're lens flares. <laughs> so. There's going to be like 50 of them <laughs> just blinding you. You, well, have to, you have to have special glasses to watch this movie. And then, too, we were talking about like the whole concept of your name is a very Japanese, like, yeah. cent- like centric, you know, culturally. I know. And I, don't, I don't know how you would do Shrine Maiden. <laughs> 
I don't know what what's the equivalency of a shrine made in American culture. Catholic school girl. <laughs> okay. That changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, how are you going to explain like how we're all connected and yeah, I mean, without using like eastern influence and uh-huh. stuff. Like um I don't know, I'm just I'm just scared, especially seeing all I said Death Note, Ghost in the Shell, like uh Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> we never mentioned that. But no, I <laughs> It's just one of those things where it's just like, I'm so like, I ghost in the shells where I was on, well, semi-optimistic, not even really that, but I was, I was hopeful. It's it's one of those things of like, it's like Pacific Rim. I wanted Pacific Rim to be good so we could have mech, mech, mech would be, mechs would, we'd have a Gundam movie if Pacific Rim did half decent. People would get it. People are like, yeah, giant robots, but people don't like giant robots. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it just like, there's so, like, I just feel that there's going to be so many blunders of live action anime adaptations before it eventually, you get to finally, someone who cares. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just don't think people, well, a lot of people don't care. Like, it's just, it's, it's more of a recreation of the visuals, not... Not the, the, story. the meaning, the story, the meaning, all that kind of stuff that goes with it. Soul. Which which really is what makes anime so great. I mean, you have these awesome visuals, but you have these like really thought provoking stories and yeah. uh thought provoking, heart wrenching, you know, like sucks you into the action. Just anime really makes you feel. hmm Especially your name. Especially your name. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I could have taken a picture of that moment of time of just you're just bawling your eyes out. <laughs> well, and see, like I wish I would have saw you cry. I would have probably stopped and I don't know, maybe laughed. <laughs> so. I was like, um, was it that Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Was it the Mr. T's character? Or uh-huh. remember when he was trying to cry and he just like, he just like, Ugh. <laughs> he like yeah. attacked his, or he like is almost like he sucked it his his tear back up like no we ain't doing that <laughs> <laughs> and i'm actually excited because i think on the fir- november 1st is when it comes out on blu-ray yes yes, yes. i think it's november 1st so um, we, november 3rd i think i'm not sure i'm not sure I, when it, sometime I, early november i pre-ordered on amazon right away <laughs> it, was, yes. it was like limited edition just instantly like okay i need it right now i accidentally ordered the Japanese version, so I already caught it. But oh. I, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> like, like I don't. I think like a it was a foreign one because I got it. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I wasn't supposed to get it for a while. So then oh, I looked cool. at it. And I'm like, oh, I ordered the foreign one. <laughs> got the wrong region. <laughs> wrong region. Does it, got, does it got English subtitles or something? Or I didn't even watch it. Oh, I just but it has cool art, so I don't know. <laughs> so. Well, that's good though. Honestly, I feel like Japanese box arts are better, anyways. <laughs> They're more beautiful. Okay, we are. We got fifteen minutes to go. So, so should we should we skip that part and go to that part? Yeah, or we can. Yeah, we, we can. We we can talk. We can skip. We can skip that for next time. Yeah, we'll. Um, we will talk about Halloween recommendations. Yes! There's a lot of good Halloween animes. Helsing, Helsing. ultimately for. <laughs> I know, like I, I, Helsing, I, I um, I Alucard to, is my husbando. I still need to watch Ultimate. Ultimate is good. I wasn't sure because I, I'm really, I get really snobby. Like if I watch the original <laughs> series and then I see like the, um, you know, like with Full Metal, like Brotherhood and Helsing Ultimate, you know, I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, but actually, I think that's better because that's more closer to the manga. And like Helsing, the original series. So guess what else is closer to the manga? Full Metal. Full, yeah, yeah Full Brotherhood. Brotherhood. Yeah, Brotherhood's closer to the manga as well. Mm-hmm. I, I love both. So no, I, I gotta, I gotta give it a shot. Um, Helsing Ultimate, Helsing, Helsing Ultimate. That's always a good one. Anything with vampires. Yes, and speaking of it, well, another good, anything good with vampires. vampires. Yeah. No the, Twilight. No, no Twilight. Twilight ones you could kill with a pillow. <laughs> no, you just throw them in the sun. <laughs> so, That's not actually, fun. no, they don't. They don't die in the sun. They sparkle. They just sparkle. That's right. I forgot. Boo. 
But yeah, other vampires, cool vampires, Vampire Hunter D. Yay. That's actually, that's one of my favorites. Um, no, that, that's a great one. Um, Bloodlust is much, Bloodlust is better. <laughs> I don't know. Bloodlust is something I enjoy a lot more than the original Vampire Hunter D. I'm conflicted. Actually, I like both. I think like, they, well, obviously they both have different stories, like tones. Like uh, the original series is kind of more dark mm-hmm. and, and kind of demonic. But well, like Bloodlust, which is still dark, but it's got way more action and 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 um, it's just a different story. Yeah, I think I like the I, I think I like the action a lot better than the newer animation. Like it just it looks beautiful. <laughs> like um, that and the um, the dub's really great. There's a lot of cool. Every there's a lot of cool characters and there's a ch- was it um. Didn't she do recess? Was it Spinelli or? Well, okay, Spinelli and and Bobby Hill are the same person. Okay, I, I said I I didn't watch enough recess to know. Yeah. But no, it's cool. She's on like a unicycle, like a yeah, practically a unicycle, but with like it's got like cross, like headlights. It's kind of cool. I mean, it looks cool though. And like, John just, DiMaggio too. And John DiMaggio and. Was it the D has like a, a cyber horse, pretty much like a robot horse kind of thing? Oh, yeah. He's got this awesome cyber stallion. Yeah. Like D D is like, was he like 10,000 years old or something crazy? Something like that. But he's all young and pretty. <laughs> oh, speaking of young and pretty D, check out. And, and the artist's name is Amano. And he did some really cool artwork for with Vampire Hunter D. I think some cool uh, for Final Fantasy as well. Yeah, he does all well. the Final Fantasy stuff. I, yeah. I can show you my art book that has like all his. I have a, I have an art book. I think he even did ten. I'll I'll just show you. You have to show me, but yeah, Amano is the artist. <laughs> but no, he, he that art is beautiful. I I like anime art, but I love like the crazy stylized stuff to it. Which is why I like Castlevania. <laughs> well, Castlevania, the games, those the person who does the art is amazing. They're yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, that's really good art, too. It's like paintings, but they have a Netflix. <laughs> they have a Netflix anime. That one's really good. A lot of people from The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the voices. The, the Oaken, Oaken the Oak Shield. Shield guy. Oaken Shield is uh, Alucard. Or, Thorin, or no. Thorin Oaken Shield. I thought he was uh, Trevor Belma, or or was he Trevor? Because he, or cause you, maybe he was Trevor. Which one? You said the pretty elf was Alucard. No, uh, the pretty elf. Actually, let me look that up real quick. <laughs> I said I'm horrible. With, I'm horrible with names. I'll just call someone. I know I'm we like Homer, dear die hard. <laughs> we have we have nicknames for all these uh, actors and stuff, uh-huh. which is kind of funny. Uh-huh. But um, well, while you're looking it up, I'll explain Castlevania. Castlevania is um, well, it's an old Nintendo game, but it's a it's a huge prequel. Dracula finds some finds some woman. He falls in love, and they accuse her of being a witch, and she's hung. And Dracula don't like that, <laughs> so he gets really mad and just like curses like an entire like he just. Well, pretty much curses an entire town, but he just like he gets so mad that he gets like he just summons hell and just starts throwing demons and all this kind of cool stuff. And um, there's a lineage of vampire hunters. They have this sp- super whip, and that's the only kind of whip that can kill Dracula. So, um, pretty much it's well, the games are practically Dracula comes every like hundred years, and you're you're a secret Belmont character with the super whip. And you kill Dracula, and he comes back. So your your whole family is just, hey, hey, Dracula, caught you sleep, or you woke up from your nap, sure. Ugh. <laughs> but it's 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 I love those games; they're really good. Um, technically, the prequel is Castlevania Three. There's Trevor Trevor Belmont. There's a magician named Sypha. I think Bel. I forget what her actual last name is, but that. You actually get to team up with Al- the Dracula son, which is Alucard. And he's a pretty cool Alucard, too. He's not like Helsing Alucard with his guns, but he's got a sword and he's got, he's pretty much got Dracula's powers. He can shoot, turn into a bat and shoot fire at people. And the um, Castlevania anime is just, it, it is, 
it is before the game where like it is them them fighting each other. It, it's pretty cool seeing them fight each other, and then eventually they're like, okay, help me kill my dad. <laughs> yeah. Very much. Okay, Sypha's name is Sypha Bellinatus. And, okay, Thor and Oakenshield is Trevor Belmont. Yes, I was right. You were right. I I, I think because, okay, because I'm starting to have a crush on him, too, and I also <laughs> have a crush on Alucard, so I wanted to put them together. So. Ooh. <laughs> I Fusion, would. ha. Huh? Fusion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, act, the actor's name's James Callis. I guess he was on Battlestar Galactica, Dr. Gaius. Dr. Gaius. Mm-hmm. Something, I guess if uh, Doctor Gaius Baltar, hmm. oh, yeah, so that's who he was. But yeah, and what did you think of it? <laughs> I really liked it. I, cause I okay, it's so funny because I don't I, I'm well, not a gamer, but I like the games and I like watching him play the games. Like mm-hmm. I'll Symphony Unite, even though yeah. well, actually I have played it technically, but I haven't yeah, gotten very far in it's it. It's been great. I've been trying to coach. Well. You coach me. Coach, it's, but troll her at the same time. <laughs> it's like, hey, jump in this room. <laughs> yeah, not as bad as Metal Gear when oh, the DARPA chief was tied up to explosives. And that you is guys... the best part ever. Yeah. Because there, there's a boss fight where you, there's, a, there's a dude in a ho- he's a hostage and he's got, he's, he's got trip wires around him. And he, if you touch him, it'll explode. So, so we, we, me and Jared, we asked her, he said, give him a hug. So she just ran right up to him and blew him up. Yeah, that <laughs> was, was pretty hilarious. Because you got like you, you're just like, <gasps> like you, you were dumbfounded for a second. I cause was because like, I was like, he wasn't supposed to blow up. I was supposed to give him a hug, and everything was supposed to be okay. So. It's okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, those Castlevania games are great, and yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll let you talk. I've talked enough about Castlevania. I love yeah, that. but yeah, I really like the games and stuff. And then, so yeah, it is. It's it's like a prequel, and so and I I didn't know Alucard was in Castlevania three. So it was kind of it's cool to see him in these games, and you know the Belmonts and all this stuff. So I I've really enjoyed it. I I think I thought it was too short, way too short. Four yeah, episodes, it's only four episodes. Neo Yokio gets six. Jaden so Smith money. No, just Dad, I don't want to be in an anime. Okay, so. <laughs> but no, it, it's pretty good. It's it's awesome. I mean, it's Dracula. <laughs> so I mean, that's the that's kind of the cool thing about it because usually other it's usually other shows have just normal vampires or whatnot. But when you're the when you're the OG, <laughs> yeah, it's cooler. Uh, we are. We're no, like, oh, we, we, we should got like probably, five minutes. Do you uh, want to talk about uh, Full Metal Al- yes. Alchemist Brotherhood? Yes, because actually I'll, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm excited about it. I mean, okay, like like I said, Full Metal Alchemist is like my favorite series. Brotherhood, love it. Um, um, there was uh, this YouTube channel called Wisecrack that talks about, like, it talks about pop culture philosophy. Saw it and I'm like, oh man, I wish I, you know, I, I never bought the DVDs, which I'm kicking myself for. And, and they're so expensive now, you know. But, anyways, Hulu is streaming it. So I got all excited. And I kept telling the hubs, like, we need to watch this. We need to watch this. So he was, he's, he and I have been watching it together slowly. But we're on episode ten, and and because like you said, he's not into anime, but it's kind of fun to watch it with him because he's like, um, you know, a couple times where Mustang is trying to like fight in the rain and he can't get his his power started. The Hubs goes, "Come on, Major Dumbass! <laughs> you know, you know, you're not supposed. You can't light up your fire powers in the rain." And that was pretty hilarious. And um, there was like, I'm trying to like. I mean, because he's not into it, I'm not. I'm trying to bring it to it slowly. So we watched like four episodes and push him uh, into the anime pit, Joel. Well, slowly, <laughs> slowly. I don't want him running, coming out, jumping right back out. But, we'll but, come out with the body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> but we were at the episode where they were in the sewers fighting the chimera, and that was like that was going to be the end. You know what? Where I was going to stop. He goes. 
I could watch it a couple more. And so, <laughs> and then, you know, like where they were they introduced Fear Bradley and not sure who Fear Bradley, what's going on with him. And he goes, the hubs goes, yeah, I don't know about that Fear Bradley. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. And it, well, his name is Fuhrer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it's or been his really. his title, excuse me. It's been really fun to watch it with him. And then um, I, I watching again totally identify with Izumi Curtis. The hubs looks like Sig Curtis. So I told I told the hubs like oh we need to cosplay at them. So yeah. You still need to do uh um Hagrid and have Smokey be a uh, Oh be a Cerebus. Cerebus. Yes. So she'd uh, probably like murder her other Murder her other heads. <laughs> yeah. The hubs looks the hubs well he's got a beard, but if he grew out his hair long enough, he'd definitely look like Hagrid. <laughs> Or a wizard, Harry. <laughs> so, oh, well, yeah, we're pretty much, it's almost 9.30, so we're, I guess let's wrap things up. Um, anything going on with your life? Anything fun? No, just rewatching watching anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the only new thing I've really done mostly is just, like, I got Funimation, <laughs> the, um, the streaming service. It's pretty cool. I actually found out you could actually pay Crunchyroll and um, Funimation by the year. <laughs> so I just oh. did that. <laughs> so instead of like seven bucks a month, I just paid $60 a year and it's actually much better. <laughs> oh, nice. But um, I like it a lot. Like it's, I, I like dubs more. So it's, Hulu, well, Hulu has more sub stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they, they mess up their... They mess up a lot with their um, sub dub sometimes because sometimes you'll watch I'll watch I'll watch a dub and then it'll be the sub and then it'll be the dub right after. But um, I like it a lot. It's like it's like having Funimation's DVD library <laughs> digitally. That's that's one thing I really like about it. And then now they have simul dub watching a nerdy gamer show just called Gamers. That's actually a really good one. It makes me laugh a lot because. Yeah, being a gamer nerd, you're not exactly that great with uh, social and interactivity. So <laughs> it's fun to watch these people that just like, it just goes over their head. It's essentially like me. <laughs> so I relate. I relate to it. When people are flirting, it's like, oh, hey, adios. It's good to see you. Because <laughs> I think there's a funny part where like... um the one girl, she's like, she's a super gamer and she's like best in class. Everything's the most popular, um, dumping guys, rejecting guys every day. She has like, she has like a, a period, like, like an hour out of the day to reject guys. And the other, the main character, he's just such a big idiot. He doesn't understand what she's tr like. She tries to show, she show he's a little, or she's interested. And he's like, Oh, Hey, I'll talk to you later. And he's, he's rejecting her because he doesn't know <laughs> that he's, he's just so unaware and it just makes me laugh. <laughs> Cause that's probably how I would probably approach it. <laughs> Unless you're direct, <laughs> then I'll know. But otherwise you have to like hit me on the head. <laughs> Cause I, I do not understand a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no game, no life. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised because usually they would shut us down. I know. Probably because we're, the, I think, we're the last one. Yeah, I think so. But um, I guess, well, well, we'll we'll just stop from here. But um, I guess on the channel, I, I will put this up probably within the week. I need to I need to take more pictures. I'm here at Bonsai and I haven't taken a lot of pictures. I've been terrible this time. It's not, it's not, maybe it's like Comic-Con, Joel. They must come to us. Yes, that was, that was pretty awesome. That was a story for another time. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that next week. But what is going to go on? I have more, more Let's Plays, Blaster Master. For Halloween, I will play, um, I actually got the DLC for Resident Evil 7 now, so I can play some more stuff. Ooh. Yeah, they had a sale this week, but, um. They have a prequel chapter, and they have some goofy mini games. You saw that one funny uh, that Jack, his birthday, where you have to. Oh yeah, yeah. So that Resident was crazy. Evil's all about the zombies and all the monsters and all that stuff. But there's this hilarious mini game where this um, 
well, Resident Evil 7 is kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre with a, just a messed up family. <laughs> But the the dad, you have to you have to feed the dad. It's his fifty fifth birthday, and you have to run around zombies collecting food, and like he just eats it. He's like more, more. Like it's 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 such a different tone of the game because the game is terrible. The game is nuts. Like it it mixes Texas Chainsaw Massacre with like saw. Like if you like horror movies, there is literally like it does Evil Dead. It does. There's so much. So it, I like horror movies. So I relate to all those references. But the tone of that mini game is just really silly. But I'm gonna play that, and then the DLC hits. The final one hits in uh, December. I will finish it off, and that will be the end of Resident Evil Seven, my game of the year. <laughs> but um, we have talked on too much. We have talked on for an hour and a half. Yay! Whoa! God, this is gonna be a huge file. <laughs> but um, I think. Yes, thank, thank you, you guys Kenzie. For coming. I really and Kenzie's appreciate mom. it. <laughs> thank you guys so much. It, actually, I'm glad it's you guys. I know. You, not, not that we would. We well, I was trying to holler at people, I know, but nobody gosh. was coming you, in. You were, so. you were being crazy. Like, I was. Hi, everybody, come <laughs> join our thing. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we hope everyone enjoyed listening to us for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is our longest podcast ever. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and crew, we had more to talk about too. <laughs> yeah, we had tons to talk about. Like we didn't even cover everything in our notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I will put this up very soon next week. Hope everyone all enjoyed. Oh yes. Oh yes. What is your uh, sign off this time? Okay, my sign off. Drum roll, please. Arigato gozaimasu, anime banzai, which means the thankfulness of thankfulness of thankfulness, anime banzai. For great honor. You will forever be lame, Joel. I will. The older you get, the more lame you get. <laughs> no, the older I get, the more awesome I get. <laughs> yeah, right. That is not true. You're gonna That's be because like, the older you get, the more grumpier you get. <laughs> I know. I just like, what the hell is a fidget spinner? I don't get that. And dab. Destroy all bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> we hope everyone enjoyed I want to thank I want to thank Anime Bonsai for for doing this. this is I never thought this would ever happen this is not I mean even though there's only a few people only a couple people here but they're the most awesomest people so we're happy but um we really enjoyed doing this and um <clears throat> I know I'm terrible with goodbyes but hope everyone enjoyed thumbs up and subscribe and until we meet again, comrades. Bye. <laughs> oh, Joel, I forgot to hit the record button. I'm just kidding. Oh.